Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Good afternoon. Today we celebrate the feast of Saints Peter and Paul. And so let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. And dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment, confess our sins to God in ways that we have failed him and our neighbor in thought, word, deed, and omission, so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. Let's say together the second form of the Confidior found on page 66. I confess to Almighty God in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, and what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to say one Our Father and one Hail Mary. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God our Father, today we commemorate the martyrdom of your apostles, Saints Peter and Paul. As they were preachers and leaders of your church in this world, May their prayers continually intercede on our behalf in heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for our first reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, King Herod laid hands upon some members of the church to harm them. He had James, the brother of John, killed by the sword. And when he saw that this was pleasing to the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. It was the Feast of Unleavened Bread. He had him taken into custody and put into prison, under the guard of four squads of four soldiers each. He intended to bring them before the people after Passover. Peter thus was being kept in prison, 
but prayer by the church was fervently being made to God on his behalf. On the very night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter, secured by double chains, was sleeping between two soldiers, while outside the door guards kept watch on the prison. Suddenly the angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side and awakened him, saying, Get up, quickly. The chains fell from his wrists. The angel said to him, Put on your belt and your sandals. He did so. Then he said to him, Put on your cloak and follow me. So he followed him out, not realizing what was happening through the angel was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. They passed the first guard, then the second, and came to the iron gate leading out to the city, which opened for them by itself. They emerged and made their way down an alley, and suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter recovered his senses and said, Now I know for certain that the Lord sent his angel and rescued me from the hand of Herod and from all that the Jewish people were expecting. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks. Our response is, the angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. I, Paul, am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the proclamation might be completed, and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was rescued from the lion's mouth. <coughs> the Lord will rescue me from every evil threat, and will bring me safe into his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. May Almighty God cleanse my heart and my lips. I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples. And when they had finished breakfast, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. Then he said to Simon Peter a second time, 
Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen. Amen. I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today, as I mentioned, we celebrate the feast of Saints Peter and Paul. And our readings reflect that today. In our first reading, we hear about when Peter was arrested by Herod and was thrown into prison and put in chains and the Lord sent his angel to break him out of prison so that he would be free to preach the gospel. And indeed, on that site, that very site today in Jerusalem, there's a church called St. Peter in chains to celebrate that moment when the angel released Peter and let him go free. Our second reading is Paul's letter to Timothy. This is written towards the end of Paul's life when he is getting ready to be martyred. And he relates his life to someone running a race, like a marathon. How apt as we are approaching the Olympic season in our world today. He says, I have competed well, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. That's a great model for all of us to follow as well, to, to keep persevering in our faith like a race until we reach that finish line when Jesus calls us home to himself. And then finally in our gospel today, we hear Jesus asking Simon Peter three times, three times that he loves him. Well, this is to rectify the three times that Peter denied Jesus at, during the Passion when it was foretold he would deny Jesus three times. And here he affirms three times that he loves Jesus. But Jesus gives a different answer each time to that question. He says, feed my lambs, tend my sheep, and feed my sheep. Because Peter has three different things to do. He needs to feed the lambs, the ones who are already part of the chosen people. Jews, and then tend my sheep, which are not just the Jews, but also the Gentiles. And it's a call to expand his ministry and take care of the needs of those who are outside the Jewish community. And finally, feed my sheep, which is the final one where he is to take the word of Jesus and bring it to all so that we all may be fed through all these centuries since then. So on this beautiful feast of Saints Peter and Paul, we remember two of the strongest disciples of Christ, apostles, one chosen by Christ in this world and the other chosen after the resurrection to bring the gospel, the good news of Christ, not only to the Jews, but to the whole world as well. So Saints Peter and Paul, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now stand and turn to page 71 and say together the creed that unites us as Christians. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. 
Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. With faith and trust in our loving God, we place our petitions before him, and our response is, Lord, hear our prayer for the church, that she may continue to be a beacon of hope, calling us to walk in the light of Christ, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation's leaders, that they may work to uphold religious freedom and conscience protection for all, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, the diaconate, and holy marriages, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all travelers and vacationers, that their journeys will be safe and their time away renewing, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who are ill, especially those on our parish prayer list, that God will lift their burdens, bringing them peace and comfort, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions we hold deep in the silence of our hearts, We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. for all of our deceased loved ones and those who will die today, that they may enjoy eternal rest in God's heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, you are always near to us. Hear these prayers which we make with confidence in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, in unity with the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. They saw that I, Paul, had been entrusted with the gospel to the uncircumcised, just as Peter to the circumcised. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. May it become for us the bread of life. The mystery of this wine. And water. And we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, may it become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless this sacrifice, which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Receive this offering, most holy trinity, which we make in memory of the passion resurrection and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ and all. In honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, may they whose memory we honor on earth receive for us in heaven. Pray 
say, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accepts our sacrifice by Christ. So we pray the glory of his name for our glory, for the benefit of his holy church. Gracious Father, through the intercession of your apostles, St. Peter and Paul, accept these gifts which we offer you on this, their feast day. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. We humbly beg you the only high priest of your church, never to abandon your flock, but through your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and their lawful successors, the Catholic bishops, safeguard it with a lasting care. May those upon whom you bestow the shepherding, teaching, and guidance of the church be courageous, zealous, and filled with apostolic fervor. May they teach the faithful your truth, forgive their sins, and unite them with you. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints of the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The holy sacrifice of the Mass continues with Eucharistic prayer 3, which is found on page 84, if you are following along. We acclaim you, Holy Lord, glorious in power. Your mighty works reveal your wisdom and love. You have formed us in your own image, giving the whole world into our care, so that in obedience to you, our Creator, we might rule and serve all your creatures. When our disobedience took us far from you, you did not abandon us to the power of death. In your mercy, you came to our help, so that in seeking you, we might find you. Again and again, you called us in the covenant with you, and through the prophets, you taught us to hope for salvation. Gracious God, you loved the world so much that in the fullness of time, you sent your only Son to be our Savior. Incarnate by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, he lived as one of us, yet without sin. To the poor, he proclaimed the good news of salvation, prisoners' freedom, to the sorrowful joy. Fulfill your purpose, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the grave, destroyed death, and made the whole creation new. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose for us, he sent the Holy Spirit, his own first gift for those who believe, to complete his work in the world, and to bring to fulfillment the sanctification of all. And the hour had come for him to be glorified, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. At supper with them, he took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he blessed it. He broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. celebrate the memorial of our redemption, recalling Christ's death and descent among the dead, proclaiming his resurrection and ascension to your right hand, awaiting his coming in glory, and offering to you from the gifts you have given us, this bread and this cup, 
We praise you and bless you. Together, we praise you, we bless you, we give thanks to you, and we pray to you, Lord our God. We pray that in your goodness and mercy, your Holy Spirit may descend upon us and upon these gifts, sanctifying them and showing them to be holy gifts for your holy people. The bread of life and the cup of salvation, the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that all who share this bread and this cup may become one body and one spirit, a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your name. Remember your one holy Catholic and apostolic church redeemed by the blood of your Christ. Reveal its unity, guard its faith, and preserve it in peace. Remember Anthony, our prime bishop, Jerry, our bishop, and all who minister in your church. Remember all your people and those who seek your truth, especially those of us gathered here today. Remember all who have died in the peace of Christ, whose faith is known to you alone, especially our friends and family members who have passed. Bring them into the place of eternal joy and light, and grant that we may find our inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, with our ancestors in faith, with the prophets, apostles, and martyrs, with Saints Peter and Paul, whose memory we keep today, and with all the saints who have found favor with you in ages past. We praise you in union with them and give you glory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, all honor and glory are yours, creator of all, in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Page 95, let us stand and pray together with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, but we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let's say together the First Communion Prayer on page 97. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me depart from you. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring you to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life.
Those who are joining us online, let us say together the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. If I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the table of the Lord. Lord, my possession of pure heart, that which I have taken as food, may the gift that I have received bring me healing and strength now and forever. I exhort the presbyters among you as a fellow presbyter and witness to the sufferings of Christ and one who has a share in the glory to be revealed, tend to the flock of God in your midst. Let us pray. Lord our God, you have fed us with the bread of heaven as we rejoice in the memory of Saints Peter and Paul, your apostles. May we be strengthened and assisted by their prayers to faithfully live the gospel of Christ. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. In the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you now and forever and ever. Amen. He has said it. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me now in the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Please join me now in a prayer for peace in our world, country, state, and localities with the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. <coughs> where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love. 
for it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you so much for joining us today for our celebration of the Holy Mass. We pray that you have a great day. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and always remain in a state of grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now and found was blind.